If you're like most home buyers in today's market, you're probably looking for any type of edge that you can get to lower the amount of money that you need for closing on your home. I'm going to go over a certain technique and strategy today called seller concessions or seller contributions that you can use to greatly reduce the amount of money that you need when purchasing your next home. All the details will be here in today's training. Hi, it's Robert Weinberg, and on this channel, we empower people to take control of their future through expert mortgage and financial strategies. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also click the bell so you get notified for any and all of our future content. So in this lesson today, I want to talk about seller concessions, which are also called seller contributions. And what those are is money that you can get from a seller that you'll have an agreement in which the seller will pay certain of your financing costs for the buyer of the home. So this can greatly reduce the amount of money that you need to purchase. Now, typically, depending on the loan program, these are going to be limited to between 3 and 6% of the sales price of the home. With a lot of the first-time buyer programs, they do allow up to the 6%. Now, you can't use seller concessions to get money back at closing for any other purpose other than to pay for closing costs that are shown in a settlement statement. And that would be all of your prepaids for your new escrow account, loan origination, processing, underwriting, title insurance, settlement fees, that sort of thing. A great place that a lot of people can utilize seller concessions, if you have enough money for all the rest of the closing costs, is you can actually use the money from the seller to buy down the interest rate or pay what are called discount points, as we've talked about in some other lessons, to lower your interest rate. So that can be a great use. Now, a couple considerations here when you're looking at getting seller concessions is that typically when you're putting in a low ball offer or you're putting in an offer well under list price in a competitive market, you're not going to be able to ask for seller concessions. Where these are really going to come into play is when you are offering full price or even above asking price on a property uh, where the seller would be more open to giving you some money back at closing. This is absolutely something that you need to consult with your expert real estate agent on because the realtor is really going to be the one that's going to be going to bat for you and actually putting that offer together and presenting it to the other agent. So having that expert realtor in your corner to help you structure this into your agreement with the seller is absolutely crucial. And one of the reasons, as we've talked about before, that you really need an expert real estate agent on your side when it comes to any negotiation for buying a home, but especially when you're asking for this extra money from the seller. Now, at the end of the process, what's going to happen is when they put out that final settlement statement or closing disclosure, it's going to have all the costs listed and it'll just have a credit on there and it'll say seller credit or seller contribution and they will credit that money over to you when it comes to the closing. So as we said, that can be used for closing costs, prepaids and whatnot. It cannot be used for a down payment on the home. So you do still need to make your down payment. Uh, of your own funds or gift funds depending on the program but you can use the seller contribution for some or all of the closing costs depending on the specifics of the property and the program that you're using to purchase so i hope that this helps and i hope it's been a value to you or someone that you know please share this video with others and feel free to follow me out on my different channels through social media if i can be of assistance to you or anyone you know you can reach out to me directly through call or text We'll talk to you soon.